After decades of legal battles, homeowners surrounding the former Kerr-McGee Chemical Corporation are getting settlements. During the plant's years of operation, the toxic chemical creosote seeped into the soil and threatened homes and businesses that were just within a few miles. WCBI's Victoria Bailey sat down with a local pastor who was impacted. She's joining us in the studio with his story. Victoria. Andrea, the plant closed its doors in 2003, about the same time residents filed a class action suit against the owners. Now, more than a decade later, later residents are seeing the first payments from the suit. I'm told several people died or suffered severe illness. They blame it on being exposed to the chemical, but in the end, those involved, closing, those involved with closing the plant would do it all again to preserve the area. Getting the plant closed down was crucial because I, I saw the plant as a source of all this disease and all this death. Kerr McGee Chemical Corporation agreed to pay more than $5 billion to correct the spill of the toxic chemical creosote. Pastor Steve Jamison was working to expand his church on 14th Avenue North while the plant was operating just around the corner from the corporation. He says just a few days of working in the ditch in front of his church left a lifelong impact. When I came out of the ditch, I had a blood pressure that was so high it took four minutes, four, four, uh, two pills two times a day to control it. And also I learned that my kidneys had dropped in function uh, to almost a third of their normal function. So at the point I realized that whoever it was, it was deadly and dangerous. Jameson said if the creosote was affecting him that way, what about the people who lived in the shadow of the tide plant? In, in Memphis town, uh, people were dying from cancers and clusters. Whole homes being wiped out. Uh, whole families just die with, with the same thing. People had uh, uncontrollable kidney disease and other uh, things that could be related to creosote. According to Jameson, residents in the surrounding area received more than $340 million in settlement money. We got about $70 million to clean the site up. And my church uh, got a uh, very a nice settlement out of it as well. Jameson says the consequences for 17 years of fighting were great. And so all in all, it was worth it. If I had to do it again, I guess I'd do it again. Uh, in the process, I had a heart attack and my kidneys failed in the process. But uh, I, I'm, I'm yet grateful that God allowed me to stay here to see it done. Jameson also says the payments are coming in stages. Several residents have received their payments, but there are still a few waiting. Andrea, 